All right, so announcing Phasmophobia's Winter's Jest. Uh, welcome back. we got some news for you. Beware that witch creeps in the cold night. Today, we're excited to announce Winter's Jest, the next event in Phasmophobia's calendar, and our final one for 2024. The event itself will be live in-game from 12 a.m. UTC, 12 December 2024, through 2359, 31 December 2024. Okay. Continuing on from our Blood Moon event last month, we'll be tasking Ghost Hunters with working together to achieve a set of shared goals in order to receive rewards. We've taken on feedback from the Halloween event and implemented that in the scoring system, lowering the required scores while increasing the amount earned from completing tasks and rewarding bonuses for those playing on higher difficulties. Oh, that's cool. This will mean progress will feel quicker and more satisfying throughout this event. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I can deal with that. We'll also be introducing personal daily and weekly challenges for participating in the event. Completing these will reward you with increased XP and money. Cool. I mean, oh, so it's okay. So the inter the daily and weekly challenges are not going to be... It's not going to affect the event, but it will give you increased XP and money uh, for individuals. Okay. I thought this was going to be uh, helping with the event also. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I was hoping that this was going to give us the kind of the combination of community community events or community event and also giving individuals a chance to co contribute a little bit more. Excuse me, Kitty. I cannot read this through your butt. Right. Snowfall. During Winter's Chest, a selection of maps will be blanketed in snow, adorned with festive decorations while also playing host to something incredibly sinister. Be on the lookout. Been on the lookout, Ghost Hunters? Be on the lookout, Ghost Hunters. Grafton Farmhouse, 6 Tanglewood Drive, Maple Lodge Campsite, and Point Hope. On the topic of that incredibly sinister presence looking across these maps, keep your eyes on our social channels to piece together what or who it might be. Okay. Community goal, once ghost hunters will once again be tasked with hunting down evidence, identifying ghosts, and completing optional objectives during investigations. Adding a festive twist to your games this time will be discoverable jack-in-the-box items. Opening these will grant points towards the overall community goal and get you closer to these rewards. Once a stage of the overall community goal is completed, you'll be able to interact with the event altar. Well, hopefully this time the event altar doesn't, like, make us all deaf. Maybe, hopefully, that's one thing they learned from the Halloween event. To claim that stage's rewards. Incorporating feedback from the Blood Moon event, we've made sure that there'll be more time once the goal is completed for players to claim these prizes before the end of the event. Just make it that you have till the end of... Yeah, yeah. If we've got all the community goals, don't end it until it ends. I know. <laughs> I mean, they put a... Look, it took them how long to get that event? How to get that map done? Like, they came out and they told us about it Halloween 2022? It took them two years. <laughs> of course they want us to play it. Or around two years. All right, event feedback. Thank you to everyone who submitted feedback on the Blood Moon event last month. These types of community-driven events are new to both Phasmophobia and us at Kinetic Games. We're learning as we go. And as you will have read, Winter's Jest includes things like personal challenges, improved community scoring, and more, all of which speaks to some of the feedback provided. We aim to continue evolving these events with features such as auto-claiming for event rewards, improved rewards for individual players, map rotation during events. In the meantime, we hope you continue to enjoy the events and provide feedback via our official Discord We'll be hosting feedback sessions on certain areas of the phasmophobia each month. Each month, Ugh, I can't speak. Thank you for taking part in our events throughout 2024, especially as we begin to experiment with mechanics such as community goals. Throughout 2025, we will continue to evolve and iterate on what's possible in phasmophobia and not just events. We look forward to joining you this journey. Thanks to Kinetic Games team. Well, there you go. So, look, I'm all for experimenting and stuff like that and doing feedback and and working on it. I'm, I'm cool with that. So, the one thing I wish, if, if if this is going to be like the Halloween event and be stages, I wish that this would be like stage one and then give us, you know, four different maps for stage two and maybe four different maps for stage three. Um, because the one thing I did hate about the Halloween event was that there were no Halloween de decorations that are usually up for all the maps that were not up in the only Halloween events we had, only Halloween decorations up were in those four maps. It made the other maps very boring, especially when you're used to having all the jack-o'-lanterns and all that kind of stuff. 
that's the only thing I wish that they would. I hope they learn from that and that all the maps might have decorations. But if it's only these four maps, that's going to suck again. <laughs> but there we go. That's the little thing on Discord.